Hey guys, we're going to take a look today at, in my opinion, the best audio software in existence if you are a podcaster, YouTuber, gamer, streamer, and it is for 100% free. It's not a gimmick and they have been around for years. This is not something that you need to do extra stuff to get it. You just download it install it and enjoy it they have a few versions you have the just plain voice meter they have the banana version potato version matrix the audio cable that i made a video before i'll leave it probably on the description and i will put probably a card somewhere around here on the top right corner this is the software voice meter banana you go down here the link will be in the description you can either download the zip package or the exe file in my case i went with the exe file because it's a little bit easier and here on the right side you can donate to them to keep the software alive for all of us not only for them and you can do that by clicking one of these buttons here whether you're in europe or united states if you can afford it and if you like the software and without wasting time now let's go to the software itself and uh, if you didn't realize i'm actually recording with this software right now and my sound yes it's coming via this software now there's a few things that you will have to set up when you first install it and you finish installing you get to this window press a1 it will drop down a menu to select your output in my case the output is already selected and we're good to go with the speakers but then secondly you'll have to select an input which means it will be your microphone and in my case i'm using elgato wave 3 this will be my microphone but in your case you might have something else you choose that and then you are done with selecting input and output so there is one more thing down its sleeve right now i'm gonna turn on a fan and let's see if you guys can hear it really quick and maybe you can hear it just a little bit alongside my voice right now because the uh noise suppression or the noise gate on this software is active and that's why you don't hear a lot of noise on the background alongside my voice but let me turn off the noise cancellation from the software and you will see a big difference go to the menu because it's not exactly that straightforward and no it does not say noise cancelling and you don't really need to download extra software and all that that i've seen other people do it this one is straightforward it has everything you need right here go to system settings and options click it here on the bottom uh, bottom left you have in left and in right on the in input number one at the patches so these are the two left and right side for your microphone and speakers and whatnot these are active right now and the noise cancellation is going on that is why you are not hearing a lot of noise on the background now let me turn them off and see if it makes a difference the fan is going on as i speak right now Now, I'm not sure if you can hear the fan or not on the background, but the fan is blowing quite hard and there probably should be a lot of noise, probably even um, if it's not overtaking my voice. And actually, this fan was on the entire time and you guys did not probably notice it that much because we had the noise suppression here on. Now, let me turn them uh, back on and see if you can hear the fan. okay now i i can hear the fan myself <laughs> right in my ear but i'm not sure if you guys can hear it i hope not but i'll see you when i'm done with the video so all it took is click these two here and actually the software has this feature integrated inside you don't need to pay extra or download anything extra and just in case you're wondering well how do i use this one with obs because obviously most of us use obs yes there's wirecast and there's other software to record but for the most part we use obs and a lot of times mistakenly you are told that you have to download third-party software in order to capture your voice on obs that is not true this one is straightforward here's my obs that i'm recording this video as we speak here is my microphone we go to the three dots go to properties and as you see vb audio is already here and i just selected voice meter output 
because that is what we want to put on our uh obs uh studio and after you selected that you're done the rest is just to play on the software itself and here there is one more trick under its sleeve that is making my voice right now sound like a radio host or a podcaster well let me turn that feature off and see if you guys can tell the difference it's right here this here you can go towards low or bright of your voice let me put it on the middle and you will probably notice that the voice is not exactly as good as it was now let me turn down the compressor at zero let me turn the gate down at zero and my voice probably became very very dull or at least duller than it was i know i have quite a low pitch voice naturally but this one makes it sound that better that as if i had a two thousand dollar microphone which i don't even though i'm happy with a wave three and i'm not gonna change it until it breaks in pieces but let me put the compressor back at 1.5 let me put the gate back at the uh, two where i had it right here and now let me put it towards low you might hear me almost muffled right now and let me put this instead of just low let me go up a little bit towards brightness and now it should be a little bit better but usually i found that the sweet spot was right around here somewhere that makes more sense for me and at least my tone of voice now your voice might differ you have a different voice you find your own settings and uh, yes you can input more microphones right here just in case you are wondering that you want to have multiple microphones whether they're usb or wireless or xlr however you want to connect them you can put them here and the output will be single out on the obs anyway it will not change because sometimes there's a big problem um, in uh, obs when you do multiple input microphones and i noticed that myself i tried it it works sometimes and it doesn't work all the time so now you can change the equalizer treble middle bass all that good stuff here is what you would put up to hear yourself on the speakers live your live voice usually i leave it muted because i don't want to hear myself i hear myself enough on playback when i edit this video and the rest is you can record within the software and i love how they put the tape recorder I, I i just appreciate that you can just start recording here if you don't want to use obs and you just want to have something to capture your voice you can just go straight up from the software right here record it take it as mp3 or vma whatever you want to use uh, do the format and you're ready to go and with that said we are done with this video i hope you like something on this video link will be in the description as always please like and subscribe share it with somebody that's a gamer stream youtuber and whatnot maybe it's valuable to them and to you we will see you next time bye